James. Yes. When you're a child, you believe in the boogeyman, Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, things like this. Ghosts are just the same thing. I didn't believe in stuff like that when I was a child. Um, the boogeyman is not alleged to exist by numerous people. Ghosts are. Um, Santa Claus accounts are extremely hard to find. Accounts of people seeing ghosts would fill so many books that you could use the books to keep warm through an Arctic winter. Try and find some books where people are alleging the existence of Santa Claus, you probably couldn't even start a fire. Therefore, to say that ghosts and Santa Claus are on a par is not true. Right. Who are these accounts of ghosts coming from, though? Are they not from, not necessarily loons, but people who are influenced by previous ghost stories, existing ghost stories, and take the elements to create their own? You might think so, but... I do. Um, the evidence points another way. So, um, people are experiencing things which are completely out of their sphere of uh, knowledge. They're not experiencing what they've read or seen in films, necessarily. But the, the stories are consistent with what you read and see in the films. Maybe that's because no, that's actually how it is. No, they're not a, a cold chill comes into the room. The, the ghost might be translucent. I mean, these, these are consistent. They disappear. They're well, many people expect to see translucent ghosts and are surprised when they see someone that looks as real as you that then disappears. That was not what they were expecting. They were expecting the archetypal white woman that mm. they could see through, for example. You often hear about ghosts wearing clothing from the period in which they lived. I don't understand why a spirit, which is no longer of, I don't know, no longer has a human form, would still be wearing clothing. It seems that we go back to a more... They appear um, as they did when they were alive. They well, okay. Clothed? Why clothed? Well, why m might I ask why they have a body then? Because the bot not, it's not only the clothing that rots away, it's also the body. Right, maybe it's because... So why don't they appear invisible? Well, perhaps the body is only because they're not real and that's the way we can imagine ghosts appearing, is with the body. No, because in that's fact, the, way the truth is, is that ghosts are most of the time invisible to us, but when they appear to us, they... In order for us to see them, they have to project themselves in a form. Which oh, so, is, they're, so they're which doing is it intentionally. To us. Yes, they project themselves in a form that we can identify. So when ghosts are seen, you're, you're saying they're intending to be seen. Well, of course, we don't know much about this, and this is a, this is a, this whole field is is really in its infancy. But um, there there is an account of a ghost that appeared to be in contact with a small boy who was psychic. And the ghost was asked the question of how this works, and the ghost actually said that he was, or she rather, was projecting herself into the boy's mind. Um, so the, the image of themselves was being projected by telepathy. That's, I don't know if it's true or not. That's absolutely insane. I mean, it sounds like the ghost, the supposed ghost, is admitting that it's a figment of the boy's imagination. I mean, it sounds like no, the, the story that, implies that the ghost is being imagined by the boy. No, it doesn't imply that at all. It implies that they are transmitting the idea of themselves to that person, just like a radio wave can be transmitted to a receiver. Why would they want to do that? What possible reason would a ghost have for wanting to be seen by the a The reason why ghosts communicate with us um, is usually because they are trapped and they need help. Do they think they can get help from us? Can um, they get help from us? Yes, they can, but not just anybody. It usually has to be a medium that knows how to help them move on. Mm -hmm. And how can anyone know more about ghosts than anybody else? Like, how can someone know how to help ghosts move on or how to help ghosts? They are born with this extra sensory perception which most people have but have not developed. It's dormant. Right. So, in other know. words, um, most people simply are either unaware of it or have it. It's so atrophied within them that they're effectively uh, not aware of uh, supernatural forces. Um, but a small percentage of the population are psychic. Uh, they have mediumistic abilities of some kind or another. They 
these may in, these come in different forms, uh, but essentially, some yes, some people can communicate or contact the dead. Yes.